let's wind down this weekend with some wine and snacks. What could be better? We are talking Chardonnay, and here with us now from Table and Wine is Michael Quinlan. Chardonnay and snacks, Jordan. What could be better? Nothing. This I've already it. decided. This Nothing. This is what it's all about. And the snacks look so good. You were telling me beforehand that you were actually at a party where you, these were from Table and Vine, right. and they served the, the crisps, Absolutely. their parm crisps. They're so good. And it's just, it's Parmesan cheese that is kind of melted and kind of gets crusty into a cracker oh. formation. My mouth's it's already ridiculous. watering. So good. And do you so find good. that this is just pairs well Parmesan with Chardonnay? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Same kind of, um, you know, base tone flavors to both. It's really, really cool. Ooh. So we'll start with a French Chardonnay first. I'm excited. Uh, this is a Macon Looney, mm. uh, and it's a Le Charme, it's called, and it is charming. Oh, charming yeah? A little wine. Not I like very the packaging. Oaky, really, really fresh tasting. Oh, and you know I don't like oaky know, Chardonnays, right. so yep, this one's probably right. going to be a winner for me. Let's hope so. And a pretty golden color, too. Absolutely. You're swirling yours, so I'm going to swirl mine without <laughs> spilling it. Looks good. It's good to do with white wine. Should we do the Jordan test? Ready? Jordan test? <laughs> Jordan and Michael test. All right. Oh my really gosh. Fresh. So, so good. Good. And I'm not like, Chardonnay is probably pretty low on my white wine list. Yep. Um, but this one, yep. so good. A lot of like a pear and apple flavors. Yes. And no interfering oak. It's just so easy to drink. But I can already see what you mean by the base because I could see how that would go yeah, delicious. Like a little heft. With do a Parmesan wanna, cheese. Do, do you want to have a snack? I do want to have a snack. <laughs> you should. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks. Did you bite that one? No, I didn't. It was broken in the box. Do you guys see this? <laughs> he bit it. You bit that. It's, it was... Or maybe I bit it. You'll never know. <laughs> Cheers? Cheers. You, oh, you're only going to have half. Okay, I'll only have half then, too. It was crunchy. Oh, boy. To the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys hear it? So good, though. Mm -hmm. So mm. delicious, right? Mm -hmm. That Parmesan oil. Yeah. So great. And it's an aged Parmesan. You can feel that it's crumbly texture. Yeah. Mm. It's great that you guys have these as, as crisps, too, because Absolutely. people that might like a little crunchy snack. Yeah. All right. Well, you can just... crumble them on a salad. I think there's a lot of different ways you can use these. Yeah, but easy, so too. Great. You were saying, you know, if you have a party and you have, you don't have to put out cheese and crackers. It's kind of all in one. Yeah. So. Save some money. I just see myself sitting there eating an entire box. Of right. I'm gonna try not to do that. But beware, they are right. really good and certainly good with the Chardonnay. Absolutely. What's this one that we have here? So the next one is from California. Mm. It's Copper Corkscrew Chardonnay. Um, this is one of the Table and Vine Vineyard selections, a wine oh. that you get at Table and Vine only, mm -hmm. uh, and oh. it's a spectacular, spectacular wine. One of a kind. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. So again, this not a ton of oak here. I was gonna say a little bit more oaky. Mm -hmm. It also tastes a little bit more mineral. Yeah, it's like. like a. Well, what's neat about this wine is it comes from Arroyo Seco, which is a warm place, and I think you get a lot of warm sort of feeling and yeah. flavor with the wine. Oh, interesting. Really lovely texture. It's funny how you can see mm -hmm. how where it's grown makes such an impact it makes on the wine. Huge difference, yeah. And is this where's this last one from? It's from the Sonoma Coast. Now you're in Northern oh. California, above San Francisco. A little colder. Yeah, a little cooler climate. Um, and these guys make wines that I think are really well balanced. This is. Awesome one. Oh, awesome okay. Show. I'm excited. So we've got two Californias. Yep. Oh, this one's like people who like a classic Absolutely. Chardonnay. This yeah. is the one a you want. More oak to it. it has so much kind of creaminess. Yeah, this delicious, is like delicious. the ultimate Chardonnay, and it is really good. You could tell. Yeah. And it would be great with the crisps too. Oh, yeah. Probably. Oh yeah, couple, we're gonna have some more of those crisps. More of those, yeah. um, which one would you choose if you had to pick one of the three Chardonnays? Um, if I had to pick one, I like the Copper Corkscrew because I think okay. it's kind of a balance of the other two in terms yeah. of a little bit of oak, but not too much. A little bit of fruit, but not too much. It's really right in the middle. And well, you? you know, I'm gonna pick that one. Yeah. It was so good, and I, I think know, if other yeah. people watching this. Uh, maybe don't like classic Chardonnays, you want to try it though, that's a good option. Cool. Great party option. So Excellent. if you're interested, you're having a get together, you want to pair this all together, you can rewatch this episode over on our website, westernmassnews.com.